Page 131, pedal study, another study or an etude. An etude is a study piece. They're calling it a pedal study because we're using the pedal on it, but you could also consider it a chord study because we're using chords. So let's look it over and see what we end up with. It's a page long, treble and bass clef. There's no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're either in, in the key of C major or A minor. If we look at the last measure, it's here. It's a treble clef here. It's a C chord, C major. Go ahead and be doing the scales and arpeggios for C major and A minor. And 6-8 time, that's the time signature we're studying. And you look through here, you see the top staff is empty. Uh, that is, it's got whole rest. There's no notes in it. So this is apparently for the left hand. Because you look at the finger numbers, those would be left hand finger numbers. So we'll just let the right hand take a break. And we're with the left hand, just one, two, you gotta come, you gotta come up here, same thing. You just lift up and move. Alright, there's no rhythm here. You don't say take a an, an eighth note move or anything, it's just lift up and move. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, just going up the keyboard all the way up to let's see measure six you're here you got the five sus four does that make sense it's a five chord remember the sus four we take the middle note up here five sus four the five chord and then you're back down here and the last measure of course they give you treble clef you come up here okay that's basically what it is now you're going to have to look down to come from here to here. And then you look up to see what's coming. So when we're doing it, we're just coming up the keyboard to G and then here. Okay. As far as the articulation goes, they have a few accents in here, otherwise, you just connect it. You can't connect this, you got to move, but this, you connect that. There's an accent there toward the end, uh, measure six, you just play them a little louder. those accent notes just a little louder. As far as the loudness goes, you're starting out with MF at the beginning, mezzo forte, sort of loud, and then the arrow gets softer. So it's sort of loud, softer. The dying way is you're going up. Ah, each one of these is going to get a little softer. Medium soft, soft. And do it again. They're doing that all the way through until measure uh, five, now you're staying moderately loud. You're not getting softer. Now you're going to get louder. Loud. That makes the accent and note very loud. Let the wrist collapse a little bit. Don't stiffen up and pound on it. Let the wrist collapse a little bit. Speed wise, on Dante, to me, it's kind of a leisure stroll. And we're feeling this one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, but it's a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. To me, that's a nice andante feel. Of course, they've added pedal because this is a pedal study. Now, what we're doing is we're changing pedal with the harmony. Each time we change the chord, we change the pedal, and the pedal overlaps just a little bit. So at the beginning, I push the note down first, and then the pedal. Change the pedal after I play the note. All the way through. And when I get to measure six, these are different chords, so I have to change the pedal. And the last two measures hold it down for both, because it's all the same chord. So you can hold it down. It's interpretation. You could, if you wanted to, change the pedal on the last measure, you get a different sound. Depends on the sound you're after and how you want to interpret the piece. I'll go ahead and just hold it down through four or through the both measures at the end because that's what the book is suggesting. So it would be this, I think. what they want okay you can for kicks and giggles if you want use both hands let the ha let the left hand play the first beat of each measure and let the right hand play the other one 
And in that case, you can just stay here. Just come up. You don't have to use a little finger on both. Try it without pedal. What does that sound like? What happens if I finger pedal the, the left hand? Hold it down for the whole measure. Pretend it's a dotted half note. There's different ways of playing around with this where you can experiment and hear the different sounds of what's going on. Because you will run across them in music eventually somewhere. Now, I'm not doing louds and softs on this. We're not performing it. We're just checking the notes and the rhythms. That's all. Let's play this slowly. Let's check the notes and the rhythms. I'll give us six counts. One, two, three, four, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks. 